Today's topic is what I've learned about making videos about not smoking weed. The first thing I've learned is it's a polarizing topic talking about weed. And um, well, the most important thing I've learned is that I'm getting clear on exactly who I am talking to. And I'm talking to the people who have reached a point with weed where they're willing to be honest that it's not working anymore. If your weed is working for you and are you Joe Rogan, this is not for Joe Rogan. Yeah, I'm not speaking to Joe Rogan. Uh, he's, he's doing just fine with his weed habits. If you're Joe Rogan or anyone like Joe Rogan and you're disciplined and making solid, consistent growth and, and you feel fantastic about your life and the direction it's going, this video is not for you. My videos, what I'm, my message is not for you. Keep doing what you're doing, man. If it works, more power to you. I tried that. I tried that for years. I tried that for decades. And it was a detriment to moving forward. It was an absolute detriment. And those are the people I'm speaking to. The young people who know that. And I know for myself, I just, um, I got so stuck in the pattern of not dealing with it that it, it, it took up a lot of years of my life. And it's important for me to, to talk to those people, to talk to basically me when I was younger and tell you that you can quit smoking weed and life is much richer without it. If you're having problems with it, don't get all defensive on me now. I'm, uh, I get it. I get it. A lot of the comments I got on my video um, were people defending their use of weed. And if it's working for you, more, like I said, more power to you. But if you're not, if it's not working for you and you want to live differently, I'm here to tell you that you can you absolutely can live differently and you can cultivate an extraordinary life without weed. Absolutely positively. And why am I so passionate about it? Because obviously it's, it struck a nerve. I mean, my video uh, about uh, growing up as a teenage stoner it's got over half a million views. I never expected that to happen. Um, but obviously it, it touched a nerve. There's a lot, and a lot of people I'm blown away by how many people related. And I felt much less alone. You know, when I put it out there, um, I didn't know too many people who, um, who, who, who grew up like me, who were completely just handicapped and stuck in weed addiction for decades. And if you're not stuck in decades, if you're young, I see a lot of my audience are, are young. Um, face it. If it's not serving you, face it. You know, you can make changes. It's not that big a deal. It's really not. And life is so good. And the... You know, I loved weed. Don't get me wrong. I mean, I loved the feeling I got from weed. Uh, I loved the water. I loved movement. I loved music. And you know what? I love all those things without weed. I don't need weed to have enjoyment and have fulfilling experiences with nature and music and creativity. In fact, without weed, I can participate in that. I'm not on the sidelines. And it's, it's, it, it was shocking to me how many comments I got on that video about people that were like, I mean, 
And again, maybe it's different today. Maybe people are smoking weed and just kicking ass in their life. The majority of them, maybe. Uh, I kind of doubt it, but I know from me growing up, man, the kids that were smoking weed in high school were cool. The kids that continued to smoke weed, um, if you look at what they did beyond that, uh, it was underachieving generally. Uh, I'm looking in the mirror right now. And, um, you know, that is a regret. You don't have to have that regret. Uh, but regret's not all bad because regret can be fuel. So if you've wasted a little time in your life um, checking out, it's okay. Me too. Use that as fuel. We'll find out what your gift is. What are you going to give? Start giving it. Get off the weed, man. You know, that's who I'm speaking to. The people who want to get off the weed and live fully and have tried and tried and tried and failed again and again trying to live fully on weed. I tried it. It didn't work. And I tried it again and it didn't work. And boy, I wanted it to work. And all the voices I hear um, of the comments that were, in, and let, don't get me wrong, so many comments were so loving and positive and and, and resonating and pow, and just, it gives me so, th those are the people I'm speaking to. But even the, the, the so many people were defending their, their, their weed smoking and I did the same thing for years and years and years. So wanted it to be working. I so wanted to be like a Joe Rogan, like just dominating and smoking weed and just living fully, fully. And I could never do it year after year after decade after decade. That's why I'm so passionate about it. I finally had to be honest and look myself in the mirror and say, be honest with yourself. It does not work. You've still got some life left. Don't just give up. Don't just die. It is life over death. For me, it's life over death. If I go back to smoking weed, it's death. And you may think I'm a little dramatic, you guys that are still in it and still working. And you know what? Come back in five years, you know, because things change. And if you end up like Joe Rogan, Snoop Dogg, you're a famous artist, uh, you know, just living with weed happily and not having any of the consequences, God bless you. I hope you can do it. I couldn't do it. And I'm here to help people, other people that are willing to face that now. Yeah, I think I've made my point. I'm sure glad I started talking about weed. I really did. I am. I'm glad I've connected to so many of you. We don't have to smoke weed to live fully, to give fully to experience life fully, to create fully, to let in powerful ideas from that place that I lied to myself thinking I could only get there with weed. That was a lie for me. It was a lie. And I'm not telling it today. And if it's working for you and you're able to follow through, don't get me wrong. When I smoked weed, I had some the, the, the ideas would flow like a fire hydrant. Whatever happened to those ideas? Whatever happened to those ideas? There's a million dead ideas that came flowing through me because I was too high to follow through on it. And again, if you've watched this far and you're still watching and you're defensive about your weed, why are you still watching? Maybe... Maybe there's something in you. And if you want to change your life and you hear what I'm saying and you've experienced what I'm saying, then please stay with me. I'm going to stick stick with this. I'm going to be a voice for, for people that uh, want to break free from the, from the bondage of weed addiction. 
and people who want to live fully without weed. So if you've got any value out of this video, please uh, subscribe and like it. And um, yeah, if you know anybody else who would be get value from, from what I'm saying and what my message is and what my passion is, please share it with them. And I'll get better. Um, I'll get better and more clear. And again, thanks for all the support. You know, I, uh, I tend to be sensitive and I read the negative comments, uh, but overwhelming, positive, loving comments. You're my people. Me and you are just alike. And we can live fully without weed. It's a beautiful thing. So beautiful. So much love to you, to all of you, even if weed's working for you. And if it's totally working and it turns on you, you reach another point in your life, come back. Okay, God willing, I'll still be here um, given the message I have to give in my life. So much love. Thank you. And that's what I got today.